Okay, and this video is going to be a really, really important one. And this is where Excel really, really comes into play and saves you a lot of time and energy. So if you want to figure out where we got all these numbers from, you can watch the first few videos in the series. Um, but basically what we're looking at here is how much energy how much energy we use by using a 100 watt lamp for 10 hours a day and how much is it used in a day, in a month, in a year, and then how much did it cost. All right, so that's for one lamp and we went through all of that. Let's figure out what if we use different types of lamps or different power lamps for different time periods. So here's some lamps. So we have 50 watt lamp for five hours a day and so on. So what we can do is we can just type these in. So we have 50 watts. So notice that we have the wattage is here so we don't have to type the unit. So 50 watts for five hours a day. Just type it in. Hit enter. It takes me right there. I have 25 watts for seven hours. 150 watts for two hours and then 60 watts for five hours, okay? So you can see this is just watts and hours, and this is the beauty of Excel. You can just enter this into the columns. So this is watts and hours for that wattage, watts, hours for that wattage, and so on. Okay, now here's the magic. We have a formula in here. We check our formula. It's this column times this column, which is indicated here, E7 times F7. So if I want to sim if I want to apply that same formula and multiply this column times this column, this column times this column, and so on, if I click on that cell, you see this little box in the right hand side. If you put your mouse over top of it, a little cross forms, and you can drag it down, and all these numbers fill in. All right, so if you see, and let's look what happened here. If we click in this cell, we look at the formula. You see it's this cell times this cell. We click on this. It's to sell this times this cell and so forth. So that applied the formula. Um, Excel is smart enough to, to basically take a relative reference. So they know if you want to copy this formula into this cell, it's going to be, you know, so this is this times this. If you copy it down here, it's going to be this times this and so forth. And you can do that all the way down to the bottom as far as you want to. Um, and so we can actually apply that to all of these cells here. So this is just this cell divided by a thousand so we can do the same thing if we want to convert to kilowatt hours and we can actually increase our decimal point here okay so that tells you your kilowatt hours per day your cost for that day is this times your kilowatt so let's we'll get back to that let's do our energy use in month so just drag it down energy use per year drag it down and that tells you your energy use per year for all of these different um, power use and amounts of time. So the last thing we'll go over is the absolute reference for dragging down the cost. And I'll do that in the next video.